So what's up YouTube fans and welcome to my channel. Figured it's been a little while since I did an update on the saltwater aquarium. Um, at last time we were dealing with um, dinoflactates and it had a bunch of red all over the sand. Um, so we were able to solve that problem. There's no longer any red in the sand. Um, you can see where all my critters are actually, I mean, they're pretty happy. They're doing good. Um, everything looks good. My placement of my fans, I placed one up there down there in the bottom uh, left side corner and then one right here and then one right up in here to create a, a nice circulation around the tank seems to be doing wonderful for this aquarium um so in my last video my update was that i had added the um fiber uh, floss filter thing back onto the system well I ended up taking it off again. So yeah, don't fault me, that's just what I did. But if you can look right here, you can see where this guy here, he's finally starting to come out. So the adjustments I've made seem to be working perfectly. This guy here, he's working on shedding. Uh, he should be out momentarily. That's why you see all that brown on him. Um, that's He'll just simply shut that off and then he'll come back out and he'll start looking like this. They're just leather, or leather corals, and that's what they do. This right here, um for the button polyps i'm starting to see they're open but i'm starting to see some white around their tips which is generally an indication of too much lighting so i'm going to dim the lights down a little bit more and i'm going to see if that solves the problem because it's happening on all of them they're all open but that's it's happening on all of them so let me get down to the knit and gritty here and show you where we're at all right so if we go under the tank here so here's what we did took out that uh filter system again um i finally got rid of the old protein skimmer i just had enough of that thing it flooded my tank again and that was i was just done with it so if you come down here here's your main drains and they come in right here comes down here comes down in the rocks there is no filter system outside of the rocks and you can see right in here how it comes through the line you're seeing right here right here that is actually the chiller coming in the line you are seeing right here down there that is the protein skimmer and what i did this is a terminator protein skimmer i took a gamble on this just a 30 dollars protein skimmer from ebay i added um a very expensive uh skimmer pump uh and then i plumbed it to my own my own way of doing things here so you can see right here how it's plumbed in the pump's right there the second pump for the chiller is over there um, you can see how it's obviously skimming perfectly fine you rotate around the tank here you can see I'm getting plenty of skim which is exactly what you want to see I added this little light right here this little cheapy light off Amazon just to give us some light underneath the aquarium so it so I could see what I was doing here but to recap the tank is doing wonderful I mean you can see how clear the water is the water is crystal clear now I think this protein skimmer really brought it to life. Um, I was getting a lot of those dinoflactates when I did not have the protein skimmer on it. And this seems to have cured the problem. Right now, I'll show you the chiller. So right here's the chiller. The chiller's off currently. I don't got it on. It's not needed at this point because the water's staying roughly at about 78, 79 degrees. And that's about where I want it. You can see up here, all the clowns are just hanging out in their anemones. This anemone here, I don't know why the clowns ain't in it right now. Usually they're taking care of it, but everything just got fed yesterday, so everything's happy. Okay. These things here, these zinnias are spreading everywhere. You got the zinnias there. You've got uh, red button polyps here. They're going everywhere. And it's just, everything is just doing really good. But this is my monthly update on the aquarium. To show you what I've done and what works for me. Um, now this may vary with other people, depending on the size of your system, and um, depending on your load in your tank. Uh, my load is not really real, super high, um, so it's easy for me to maintain once it's got a balance. Like now, it's finally got a balance. If you've seen in my past videos, you had seen where all the red uh, dinoflactates were growing and how they were just kind of hibernating on the sand and then it would spread up to the rocks and everything else. So this is what we've got going now. Um, you can still see my lighting system right here. 
typical lighting, show you the water, currents flowing beautifully across the top to create oxygen. And that's exactly what you want to see in these aquariums. Um, with that being said, if anybody has any questions, you know, feel free to, to comment and I'll answer them to the best of my ability. Uh, if you like my videos, like, uh, subscribe, and uh, hit that bell for notifications uh, as I upload these videos. So you'd be the first in line to get new content coming from me. That being said, I hope everybody has a great day and uh, enjoy.